Hey guys, Death Litter Magic here with more spoilers from Eternal Masters 2. Oh, I was mistaken there. It's not plural, it's one spoiler. And I even checked the schedule. They scheduled one spoiler for today. So I hope you like it. Uh, it is one of the other mythic swords. We know that we're almost definitely getting five of them. Uh, and this is the second one that we know. So this is the Sword of Sinew and Steel. Oh, by the way, if you hear a hum in the background, it's like my air conditioner and a fan because it's hot as balls here today. It was 82 Fahrenheit, aka 27.7 Celsius out today. Ouch, and of course I had to be outside for most of it. And just a couple days ago, it was pouring rain and 42 degrees, aka 5.5 Celsius. And tomorrow noon, it's supposed to be a high of 59 Fahrenheit or 15 Celsius. Welcome to Wisconsin. A couple years ago, it snowed out, sleeted out, then hailed out, then we had a tornado in the same day. So anyway, what does this sword do? Well, equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has protection from black and from red. By the way, it's a three drop two to equip as usual. And whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, destroy up to one target planeswalker and up to one target artifact that anybody owns. That's pretty nuts. I mean, these swords have crazy on hit effects, that's for sure. So, you know, you really want to kill whatever they put this on, but with an equip cost of two, if they still have a creature in play, it's probably holding this. And that is a problem. So the fact that this has no color restrictions at all, you can put this in any deck, that's pretty wild as well. But the slight issue is, I wouldn't say you get no benefit if your opponent isn't playing black or red, but it makes you a lot less likely to get through, which is what you need to do. But I mean, if you're running a mostly Flyers deck or an unblockable Merfolk deck, sure, I mean, why not? Or just blow up everything in your way. That works. So the hit or miss on the color matching is annoying, but uh, you still get plus two plus two and you still get that crazy on hit effect. Well, at least they didn't give the sword indestructible. That would have been annoying. At least you can, you know, nuke it with naturalize or whatever, exile it some. Or just do what my commander deck does and every time somebody swings at you, end their entire career. So feel free to speculate what you think the other three swords will do. I have a feeling one might draw cards, one that's blue involved. I think we might have an enemy or ally flicker effect, um, possibly. I'm not really sure what else to expect, but uh, it will probably be insane, whatever it is. So thanks for watching Wakanda Forever. I'll see you guys next video.